Hey everyone, it's Becca. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I love my makeup today. I'm wearing, if I do say so myself, follow the tutorial for the ColourPop One and Only palette. And then I'm wearing, and I just got it in the mail a few minutes ago, the Fenty Cream, Fenty Beauty Cream in Fruit Snacks. And I love these cream glosses. I liked the regular ones, the ones with shimmer, but I didn't love them. These ones I love. It has just enough slip um, to feel really nice and to look really glossy, but it's not too sticky, but it's just enough where it'll stay on your lips. Really like it. Anyway, and then I'm wearing these fun earrings from Express, and then this, um, I got on, I don't think it was Etsy, I think it was eBay. Um, but anyway, um, I am doing my, so I did this for Sephora, so now I'm just doing it for Ulta, what I spent in 2020, in 2020. Um, I'm a little frustrated because I wanted to make sure I was diamond, um, and they just, like, announced, I guess, that both Sephora and Ulta, um, just given the pandemic, um, even if you were going to drop down, um, now they're just keeping you whatever you were for 2020, they're extending you into 2021. So I'm like, I mean, it's fine. I didn't buy things I didn't want, but it's a little frustrating. Um, Sephora, I had no problem reaching. But anyway, I did just get um, an email saying 2020. Um, I've been part of Ultimate Rewards for nine years, so longer at Sephora. Um, I shopped 17 times in 2020. I earned 4,117 points. Um, I saved 125, but I feel like it was, should have been more than that. Um, and I currently have 600 points to redeem, which is $20.50. Um, so let me just go into my orders. And I'm, I am this year trying to shop more at Ulta than Sephora. Um, so my orders, so let's go all the way back. So 17 orders, so get ready for it. Okay, so I did place an order December 20th, 2019, um, and then not until March 21st, 2020. That's, we were in the pandemic, I think. Um, and this must have been their um, 21 Days of Beauty, maybe? Um, yes, I believe it was, or they're having a sale, at least. So I got the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara for $4.99. People love this stuff. I just don't. Like, all the ones I've tried, I haven't been that impressed. Got the Sharp Tarte <laughs> Shape Tape Concealer in 20B, um, and then in 12B, because I wasn't sure which I'd be. Um, I do switch back and forth, but I think 20B is what I use. Let me see here, I used uh, 20B today. Um, and then I also got the Essie, so that was on sale for $13.50 instead of $27. And then I got the Essie Ridge Filling Base Coat. Um, I haven't used that too much, actually. Oh, and sorry, in that I will, total everything down below but that was $43.55 with tax next wow I was really good I'm telling you the first like three quarters two thirds of the year I was really good with makeup purchases this was May 6th I got the soap and glory hand food that was a gift for my cousin along with the earth therapeutics moisturizing hand gloves for 10 um it looks like I did use a coupon though so some of this is reduced um after the prices I'm telling you then I got the elf cosmetics bite size eyeshadow palette in rose water um, I haven't used that one that much. I haven't used any of them that much, but they're so nice. And then the cream and sugar one as well. And those are only $3. And then I got the ColourPop All Things Equinox Eyeshadow Palette for $14. Gosh, have I even used that? I must have used that. Um, it is really pretty. I should bring that back out. And that was, I used a $3.50 coupon. So with that plus tax, it was $36.66. Um, then on May 21st, um... So yeah, they must have been having another sale. I got the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum, the 8.5 ounce one. On sale, it was half off for $14.50. I also got the Tarte Travel Size Shape Tape Glow Wand for $10. I haven't used that too much. People say they mix it in, but if you layered it, it's not that great. My battery's gonna die, but I do have backups. Then I got the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product for $18.99. It's so expensive, but I ran out, and I do really like that. Now it's, it used to be my favorite, um, but now it's kind of gone down in the ranks. And then I got the Milani Baked Highlighter, Highlighter in Dolce Perla. I haven't used that in a while. Um, with tax, $57.89. Okay, May. Ooh, I wasn't good in May at Elta, uh, so I take that back. Maybe it was just the first um, third of the year that it was good. Um, May 24th, I got the Juvia's Place, the Violet Eyeshadow Palette. It was on sale. These were all on sale, I think. House of Lashes Boudoir Light False Lashes, House of Lashes Juliet, and Iconic Light. 
I do really like those, but I just am not wearing false lashes right now. And then I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation 130N for $28. Um, I actually don't know if I love that. Um, I should try it again. Yeah, I really need to try that again. Um, and then I got the Skin Iceland Blemish Dots with Salicylic Acid for $22. I don't know if they're my favorite, but they're okay. And that was for a total of $92.06. Why am I not focused? Come on, camera, focus. There we go. Okay. Then I was okay. I waited a month, June 26th. I'll take that. I got the e.l.f. Cosmetics Bite, Buys, Bite Size Eyeshadow Palette in Hot Jalapeno. Got the ColourPop Brow Boss in Blonde. I like that. That's actually nice. MAC Lipstick in blank, Blankety. Should use that again. Viva Glam 3. Wow, oh, I forgot I had Viva Glam 3. Um, Flower Beauty Warrior Princess Mascara. Um, did I use that today? No, I used a ColourPop one. Not a ColourPop. No, actually, I lied. Um, yeah, I did use this today. I really like it. I got the ColourPop Exhibitionist Mascara, I don't believe. Oh, yeah. Um, I do like that one as well, but I think I like the Flower Beauty one better. And then I got the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Marula Oil Intensive Hydration Treatment Mask. Just a small one. I have yet to use that. I gotta find that. Um, I used a 350 coupon, but with tax and minus that, it was $66.27. Um, ooh, then I waited two months. Look at me. Okay, not horrible. Uh, it's just Ulta has so many good sales and multipliers all the time. Um, so August 28th, um, Milani Fruit Fetish Lip Balms and Dragon Fruit Peach. These do have a slight, slight tint. I do like these. BH Cosmetics Zodiac Love Signs for 27 Um, yeah, I haven't used that one too much, but I do like both of those Zodiac ones. The Poopery Sparkle Before You Go Toilet Spray. Oh, this is when I was in this house, or, like, I moved. Um, I actually don't love that one in Cloudberry. It's too, like, sweet for me. The Skin Iceland Blemish Dots with Salicylic Acid. Those are the ones I would gotten before. Um, Elf, Co this is just when my acne is bad, but now, knock on wood, it's getting a lot better. Elf Cosmetics Primer Infused Blush and Always Rosy and Always Cheeky. Um, yeah, those were okay. Um, the Baked Highlighter from Elf in Moonlight Pearls. The Cream Eyeliner in Coffee. The Moisturizing Lipstick in Ravishing Rose. That's really pretty. Then uh, another Milani Fruit Fetish Lip Balm in Pineapple Papaya. That one smells really good. And then the CoverGirl Expeditionist Uncensored Extreme Black Mascara. I have yet to try that. Um, ooh, I had $17.79 in coupons. Wow, that's like a weird number. Um, I don't know what that's about. And with tax, total of $98.99. Next, this is must be their 21 Days of Beauty. I got the Cover FX Moon... Monochromatic Blush Duo in Soft Peach. I've been wanting that forever with tax 2019. Because um, those are really expensive, normally 38 Then, um, oh, this was a, yeah, with a discount, a $10 off like an eyeshadow palette, or maybe it was just off of anything. Great deal. Um, this is the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Eyeshadow Palette. I've used that a few times. It is really nice. I do like it. I like the color story. Um, $49, but with my coupon plus tax, $41.44. I had another one, and I don't end up think I ended up using that coupon. I think it came like with a purchase. Okay, a few days later, um, September 21st, got the Living Proof Restore Perfecting Spray. Um, I got some like sampler. I love that spray. I got the big size because I had used up my small one. Got the It Cosmetic CC Cream in Fair Light because I ran out. I got this Free Diamond Exclusive 13 piece set with $50 purchase. And then this was on sale, the It Brushes for Alter Show Your Pride Brush for $15. Um, I don't know if you can see, but it's just like, you know, it's rainbow, which I love. And that total was $88.72. Next, um, November 27th, so not too bad at Ulta. Um, the Billy Jellius, Je Jealousy Wicked Beard Trio. Got that for my brother. The MAC Lipstick in Modesty, which I really, really love. That was a recommendation from Jessica Braun. The Eva NYC Main Magic 10-in-1 Primer. I do really like that. Used that yesterday, I think. The Over Cosmetics Flexi Stick Lip Cream in Slush. I didn't like the other color I had, but I like that one. It's cool texture. The Tarte Maracuja Tinted Moisturizer in 10-N. I really do like that. I should use that more. And the Wet n Wild, this is a repurchase, Waterproof Mega Slim Skinny mascara, which I'm wearing on my lower lashes today, like how small it is. Um, I used a $10 coupon, so total was $78.50. Next, again, this I'm telling you, that last quarter was really bad for me, and I was trying to, you know, get my, uh, reach my diamond status, which now I didn't even need to. 
Uh, these were on sale. All of this stuff was on sale. I got the Buxom Wanderlust Primer Infused Blush in Mykonos in Ibiza. Um, I really like those. And then I really like this. It's the Lano Lips Cocoa Nutter 101 Ointment Multi Balm Dry Lips and Skin Treatment. And it has coconut oil and a few other things um, versus just lanolin. And total was $35.91. Next on December 6th. Um, I got the Urban Decay Stone Vibes 24-7 Glide on Eyeliner Pencil. It was half off in Tiger Eyes. It's like a mauve metallic with pink shift. That's pretty. Um, I got a sampler. Um, I got the First Aid Beauty Eye Duty Niacinamide Brightening Cream. I think this was a um, high rim recommendation, wearing that today. And then the Murad All the Best Kit for my mom. I used a $10 coupon. There are so many coupons for $80.75. Um, next on December 13th. I got the Revlon Super Luscious Glass Shine Lipstick in Sparkling Honey. It's like a, a brown, it is a brown color, but um, I like the texture of that. The Nabla Skin Glazing in Ozone, that's pretty. The Milani Scream Cream Queen Foundation in Cool Porcelain. I've had heard mixed reviews on that. I think I liked it. What I'm wearing today, which I freaking love, is the Urban Decay Cosmetics Brow Blade Waterproof Eyebrow Pencil and Ink Stain in Taupe Trap. I was worried the color wouldn't be good, but I think it's nice. It's a little dark, but I love, love, love that. I got the Bliss Clear Genius Clarifying Liquid Peel. I've used that a few times. It's nice. The Urban Decay Naked Ultraviolet. I've been wanting that for a while. Um, I think I used that once. <laughs> the or No, I haven't used that yet, actually. The Nabla Cutie Palette in Platinum. haven't used that yet. The Nabla Cutie Palette in Nude. haven't used that yet. The Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer. I've used that. The Soap and Glo Glory All the Right Smooth and Shower Moisturizer. I've like, almost used that up. Um, the scent is nice, but it is kind of that invigorating wake you up. Um, and it's very comparable to the Jergens one. I think I might like the Jergens one a little more because I think it's a little more moisturizing, though this one feels a little softer. And then the ColourPop The Child Palette eyeshadow palette, I do really like that. It's so cute. And I used, wow, a $44.79 discount. I'm really confused how I had this big of discounts, and it's bad that it was just like a short while ago, so I, I'm trying to rack my brain. I don't know. If I'd used my points, it would have been more. I don't know. <laughs> uh, anyway, total was $190.38. Um, then I needed to get a replacement for the child palette because one of my shadows was broken, so I got that, but it didn't cost me anything. Next, on December 20th, I got the Real Techniques R2 Go Travel Brush. That's really cute. Put it in my travel thing. It has two brushes in one. Emily Noel recommended that. Got the ColourPop Hello Kitty Snow Much Fun Eyeshadow Palette. I wasn't going to get this, but I love Hello Kitty. I've yet to use it, but then I saw a cute tutorial with it um, from Leanna Janae. I think that's her handle. So then I got the Juvia's Place, the Mauves, which was on sale. I needed to use that. I got the e.l.f. Cosmetics 5MG CBD Lip Oil. Whew, long name. Um, I've used that. It's fine. It's a lip oil. Nothing crazy. The Buxom Full Force Plumping Lipstick 90s Nudes and Supermodel. I do really like that formula and the color's nice. Got the NYX Professionals High Glass Finish Powder and Light. I need to use that more. I used it like once or twice. It was cool. A little bit of a sheen to it. Got the ColourPop Garden Variety Eyeshadow Palette for $16. Have yet to use that. Staring at me. The Kiss Ever Easy Lashes 11. I probably won't use those for a while, but I saw them and they looked pretty. And then the MAC Globe Play Blush and So Natural. I got a replacement of that as well because mine came like separated because it is that like bouncy texture and it came separated from the bottom. I got it again and it came even more damaged so that's frustrating. I wouldn't suggest getting that in person. I did use a $125 discount um, so it only cost me $189. I probably will put the total in there just because I would have spent that. Next on December 23rd, this is when I was really trying to get to, you know, was running out of time to get to my my diamond level, which is frustrating now that I didn't need to, but I have good stuff. Got the Dry Bar Blonde Ale Brightening Shampoo. Um, I really like that stuff. Um, I got the Living Proof Restore Conditioner, which I really like the Restore Treatment line um, of leave-in products. So I've used those together. I really liked them. Those were another recommendation. Got the Juvia's Place, the Topes, getting all those six pan ones. Um, I do like that. Sorry, I've like been looking at myself and not in the camera. Um, enough, so I'm sorry about that. I've been catching myself. Got the Maybelline Lifter Gloss with Hyaluronic Acid in Stone. It's massive. It is pretty, but it's massive. Um, I, like, swatched that. So, yeah. And then I got the Nabla Cutie Palette in Wild Berry. Um, haven't used that yet. And then the ColourPop Menage a Moi Eyeshadow Palette. Some of those were on sale. Um, I used coupon discount $22.84. Maybe those are just when things are on sale. I'm not sure. Um, total $97.06. 
Okay, then I got on December 26th, I ordered the Milani Ludacris lip gloss because I just needed to get free shipping, I think, but that's actually nice. The OPI Drip Dry Lacquer Drying Drops. Um, the Bare Minerals Flora Utopia Gen Nude Eyeshadow Palette and Bouquet. I think my last video was wearing that. I do like that. The Hermity K Cosmetics Travel Size Lash Freak Volumize and Lengthening Mascara. I'm glad I got a travel size because that is clumpy. Lumpy. I do not like that at all. I have to clean off my brush so much. Even then I can only go for a few swipes until it gets so clumpy. And not even clumpy, it's just literal clumps of mascara. So I need to take another mascara and brush it out. So I do not like that mascara. I don't know how anyone can like that. Um, the Persona Season 1 Lip Gloss and Short Cake. I was also wearing that in my last video, I believe. Um, that's nice. It's fine. Got the Nabla Skin Glazing in Privilege. Um, highlighter. I like that it's an interesting shade. Champagne with duochrome peach reflex. The MAC lipstick cream and snob. That is actually, it says it's a light neutral pink satin, but it is like a bright pink with some like blue tones in it. Um, I got the OPI Nail Lacquer Thinner, $10. OPI Infinite Shine Longwear Nail Polish Base Coat and Top Coat. I haven't used those yet. Um, just the thinner I ran out of or dried up or something. Elf Cosmetics Hydrant Core Lip Shine and Delightful. I actually like that. It's very light and very shiny. The L'Oreal Rouge Signature Lightweight Matte Lip Stain in Eye Create. Haven't used that yet. Heard good things. So it was in someone's favorite. Milani Rose Powder Blush and Romantic Rose. That's nice. The Milani Cheek Kiss Blush and Rose Romantic. Those are um, liquid blush or cream blush. I do like that. And then the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Last Waterproof Pencil Eyeliner and Aubergine. I heard good things about that. It was kind of hard to put my waterline in my tight line, so maybe it's better on the lash line, um, but I heard those last a long time. I used a $10 coupon for a total of $198.26. And I have already placed one, two, three. Okay, that's not bad, because one of them was um, their I Love Skincare event. Um, so already three in January, two on the second and one on the fourth. Um... Yeah, but those were all, and then I, I got the blush again, that MAC blush, but I didn't pay for that. So that was all of my purchases from Ulta in 2020 and some little mini reviews thrown in there. Hope you guys like these videos. I really liked them. I hadn't heard or seen of the idea before I saw them, so I do really like that. Um, again, I think it was, I think it's Leia, Leah, Janae. I, I'm, I'll put her handle here, but anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to get back to work, but hope you guys are all doing well, and until next time, bye everyone.